Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, February 16th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So the market, the stock market was basically closed today, but there was a uh, fair, fair amount of action in the foreign exchange market. And there was also a fair amount of action, especially in the cryptocurrency market, which had um, a very, very volatile week and a very volatile Monday. But we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we're up 0 0.08 and uh, we are continuing rallying. It was actually quite higher at uh, one point uh, earlier today but we are still rallying from these very lows here we are still outside of the bullish band and usually that means that this it gets overstretched uh, we can see what happened here when we're outside of the bullish band it fell all the way to the bottom also here all the way to the bottom here to the middle here to the bottom and so on so at this point we are have been five consecutive days or six consecutive days outside of the bullish band so this is a major rally in the Great British Pound US dollar currency pair, but we are getting very overstretched. It is always a massive risk to buy at this point. Um, always the best idea to when wait for a pullback towards at least the middle of the Bollinger Band. That usually is around the 20 exponential moving average here, or to the bottom of the Bollinger Band, which should be around just underneath the 50 moving average or around the 50 moving average, which is major support in this market. So at the moment, pullbacks are buying opportunities and, of course, always stop losses. So if you look at the technical indicators, they are still very bullish. But if you look at the stochastic in a four hour chart, you can see that it is turning around. It has crossed the, it has crossed the, the signal line here in the, in the stochastic. And that means that we have bearish momentum to the downside. If we cross the green line here, then we go much lower in this currency pair but we are in uptrend pullbacks are at this point a buying opportunity so let's look at the us dollar and the japanese yen and as you can see we continue this rally as was also expected so we will run into major resistance around this area here which is that 300 moving average which should offer a lot of resistance and that is also the top of the Bollinger Band, which also should offer a lot of resistance. So we may rally up towards the 300 moving average and then pull back and then test it. It looks like we're making uh, um, lower highs. So, um, so yes, it looks like we are starting trending uh, in the opposite direction. We were in a downtrend for a very long time. And at this point, if we start trending above the 300 moving average, then we may see this start trending in the opposite direction. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly bullish at this point. The stochastic is also very bullish. So um, this is very expected to go higher at this point. Still, a pullback would be the best in order to enter this market. To buy it here, it can also go the opposite direction and then you basically get stuck in this area. So let's look at the euro and US dollar. We are trading in between that 40, 20, and the 50 moving average here. Nothing really happening. We, uh, Even though these technical indicators are fairly bullish, uh, we are still just trading sideways just above the middle of the Bollinger Band here. So yes, until we basically break above the 50 moving average or break below the, the 40 and the 20 exponential moving average, there's no point of basically entering this market whatsoever. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. We continue to rally to the upside. At this point, we should see some kind of resistance because we're getting really close to the top of the Bollinger Band here. We are at 73 here in the RSI, which means that we are overbought at this point. So it is fairly expected for a pullback towards the 20 exponential moving average, roughly a year, so 0.88% to the downside. And then this may rally may uh, continue rallying long-term target here is 0 0.8 and that will probably take um, a few weeks probably a month or two in order to get to that level we'll just see a lot of choppiness and this usually um, usually grinds um, higher so it looks like 
we are going to create a new channel. That is kind of what we're going to do. We broke out of this channel and we could be forming another channel here, very similar to this one. But that we'll see when we have more data, uh, then we'll basically show up whether or not we're in a channel or not. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. So we are just going lower and lower. So Canadian dollar is uh, appreciating. There is a lot of demand for oil. Oil prices are just going up and the US dollar is going down. So this is also going down. At this point, we are going most likely going to test the very lows here. We are almost oversold. We are at the bottom of the bull in Japan. So pullbacks from here are selling opportunities. To sell it here is very risky because you could pull, it could pull back and then you will basically be stuck there for a few days, probably weeks. Uh, but the closer that we get to the 50 moving average, that should be resistant. Um, and that is your basically opportunity to enter this market or should be that to enter this market. Technical indicators at this moment are very bearish. So, and we are actually here at the bottom of the bullish band and we are at 333 in the RSI. So yes, we probably have bottom at this point. So you could expect a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band. That would not be strange if that happened. So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.